Make that clap louder. Let it sound thicker. Hallelujah. God is a good God. His keeping hand has kept you. His faithfulness is all around you. You are alive today because God kept you. Not because you have a very good burglary proof. Spiritual road does not recognize burglary proof. But God has shielded you by day and by night. Lift up your voice and give God thanks. Thank this good God. My keeper, I thank you for your goodness, for your blessings, for your favor, for all of your wonders. I return glory to you, awesome God. Leri kune mendre ize zonare Jekoteli anga dabari keteros Elobo shakataria Blessed be your holy name Thank you Jesus Faithful God Doing wonders Lord I return praise to you No one can bless the way you bless No one can help the way you help Lord I thank you for your wonders Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Out of them shall proceed forth thanksgiving. And the voice of them that make merry, I will multiply them. And they shall not be small, I will also glorify them and they shall not be few. The remaining days of this month, there will be commotion of blessings. There will be commotion of favor. There will be commotion of prophets. Your long-awaited expectation will answer. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. So shall it be. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. It is my new dawn era. Congratulations. Put those hands together for the Lord. And please be seated. Lovers of God, they enjoy a healthy spirit, a healthy mind, and a healthy body. You can't engage the love of God and be sick in your spirit, and be sick in your mind, and be sick in your body. The love of God in you determines and defines your true state. Your true state. It defines your true condition. Lack of love disorganizes spiritually, disorganizes mentally, it disorganizes physically. One proof to show that someone is not working in the love of God is not at peace. His mind is always troubled is a victim of constant depression. You wake up in the morning, sorrow nine day in mind. It's a sign that that person does not have the love of God. Great peace have them all that love thy law and nothing shall offend them. Nothing. True lovers of God, they enjoy what we call healthy spirits. For you to have a healthy spirit, you have a healthy prayer life. True lovers of God, they enjoy healthy mind. Their mind is always peaceful. They are not looking for who is looking for how they will fall. Because they have not plotted anybody's folly. 
through lovers of God, their body does not break down. Why? Because God needs to preserve your body because you will use the body to reach out for him. So, operating the supernatural love of God guarantees health and vitality. Scripture said they go from strength to strength. Everyone appearing before God. Everyone. The question you will ask yourself now is, how healthy is your spirit? How healthy is your mind? And how healthy is your body? There are things you can fake and there are things you can never fake. If your spirit is healthy, you, you don't need to fake it. It will show. If your mind is healthy, you can't fake it. It will show. Proverbs 23 verse 7. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. The supernatural love of God causes us to flow. Say with me, flow. We flow with divinity. He will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is stayed on God. stayed on God. If you are in church and your mind is troubled, you are not in church. If you are in church and your mind is consumed with evil thoughts, Satan brought you. Even in Job chapter 1, when the sons of men gathered, Satan was also present. So you are here representing Satan. So you can be in church and be representing Satan. These things that I've been mentioned now has great consequence. Say with me, consequence. Now, there are positive consequence and there are also negative consequences. Every choice you make attracts a consequence. They call it the law of cause and effect. In this kingdom, we call it the law of seed time and harvest. Your choice to walk in love. gives your spirit, your soul, and your body a healthy platform. To assess secrets from God. Whether natural or spiritual, it is not possible for you to expose your secret to your enemy. You can't. You can't expose your secret to someone that is doing eye service for you. You can't expose your secret to someone that is playing cunningly around you. Never. Even God cannot do it. Jesus said, If ye abide in my love, I and my father will make ourselves manifest. Meaning we will show you what others can see. And when you see what others can see, you will get what others can get. When you see what others can see, you will dare what others can dare. When you see what others can see, you will go where others can go. Because the rule of life is as far as your eyes can see. As far as your eyes can see. So you can now see the consequence of walking in love. 
operating the love of God brings you to the frequency of what we call divine inspiration. Scripture says there is a spirit in man and the inspiration of the almighty showeth him. So God show you. He shows you what others can see. Inspiration of the almighty. You shall call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which thou knoweth not. But the good news this morning is the seed of the love of God is inside every one of you if you are born again. If you are not born again, you have a chance to be born again. If you are born before and you lost before and you are now coming to rededicate, there is still another chance for you. You know, you can born before and disappear and now you have come back. You are welcome. Say, I am welcome. We have welcomed somebody now. The prodigal son was enjoying every good thing the father had until one day he decided to go on a journey and later he said, why will I stay here and be suffering myself? He said, I will arise and go back to my father. I will arise and go back to my father. Now, there is room for restoration. When you are restored, things begin to flow back. Are you know what I'm saying now? Do you know you can fake your being born again while you are yet cut off from God? One sign that you are cut off is that you are cut off from secrets. God stops showing you things. There are some of you here now that had a very vibrant prayer life. God showed you things before, but now you are out of touch. God doesn't show you anything again. You need to go back to your first love. You need to go back to your first love. You need to go back to your first love. Why? Life is ruled by secrets. Life is ruled by secrets. Everything in life is ruled by secrets. You lack the secrets. You lack your, your, your portion. You lack the secrets. You lack your placement. You lack the secrets. You lack your top. There is a top for everyone. That is why only lovers of God can assess it. I want to shock someone this morning. So lovers, they enjoy what we call creative mindset. Every lover of souls enjoy what we call divine creativity. Divine creativity. They flow with creative instincts. Their minds are never retired. Always something new is popping up. Soul lovers enjoy progressive vision. Why? Vision for life is not static. It is progressive. The moment your heart is after his kingdom, <laughs> God increases you in vision. God increases you in revelation. If you see that uh, Pastor Ibiomi's book, John 3, 16, read it, you understand better. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. It's just a small book. Oh. You can finish it in one hour. Your passion for souls, for men to be blessed, for people to be rescued, to be delivered, increases your chance of vision in life. If you lack vision, you will suffer confusion. The reason why many, or many people in church are confused is not that the devil is too strong, it's because they lack vision. One sign that you lack vision is that you are running on another man's track. 
People that have vision, they are purposeful. Say with me, purposeful. And you know, when you run on another man's track, even if you are running with the whole of your energy, you are a failure. You are a failure. That's what we call failing forward. He's failing with energy. He's running. He's failing forward. You are running on another man's track. A popular evangelist sometime, some years back, had himself and went and started a church. He had passion, but the passion was misdirected. He started the church. The church was flourishing. You know, you can be doing something and the thing will be flourishing. You'll be thinking that God is with you. was to assess a new level and God just told him, you're on another man's track after 12 years. The only way you can get what you are looking for now is to step down and openly tell them that um, this is not your track, that you're on another man's track and become a member in the church. I hope you know that's humility, which is difficult to accept. You agree with me? He had to start fasting and start binding to know whether he was hearing himself or whether he was hearing God. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It was another war until finally he submitted. And the day he announced it, the church was in tears because he was doing well, but he was failing forward. May you not fail forward. Amen. Because at the end, you know, get crowned. So, somebody can be pushing you now like Mumu. You just be going. You think that you are doing something. You are failing forward. And with humility, the church still accepted him. They still accepted him for that level of humility. He submitted to the new person that God said he should hand over to. The church entered another realm. When he now went back to his evangelistic ministry, come and see explosion of anointing. Why I'm saying this, your love for God keeps your vision on target. You are on course with God's plan and purpose for your life. One addiction I have for Papa is this. No matter what every other person is doing, no matter how colorful it is, until he hears God, he's not involved. Until he hears God. Whatever you are doing, whether someone brought you into it or hear God. They've tried by all means to talk Papa into television ministry. Even the ACBN that you are watching now is not in the ministry, oh no. It's a pastoral assistant that owns it in Lagos. One pastoral assistant in Kenan Land is the owner of ACBN. It's not. So if they are uh, showing ACBN regularly, it's the one paying. It's not Papa that is paying. The money is not coming out from the purse of this ministry. They tried to talk Papa into it. They even got one powerful building in Ilori that they, they will use. He woke up one morning and said, God, God has not spoken. I'm sorry. Is he a bad thing to air our program on TV? Is he a bad thing? It's not a bad thing. <laughs> but he said, he has not spoken to me, so I cannot do it. When you are walking in love, when you are passionate over his house, one thing I've discovered God delivers you from error. Error. Say with me, error. error. Paul said, may the Lord keep you from falling. You can't fall into the trap of the wicked. The 
the church planting that is everywhere now. We went for the first one in 2000 and 2002 December. After we finished the church planting, it didn't even read three months. They closed down all the churches. They said, God said, this is not the time. Some of them have reached 1,000. Rumo Koro, Rumo Masi, Rumo Biakani, all those places. You don't understand what I'm saying now. They closed down the church. Some people say, ah, church that has grown to this level. He said, God has not spoken. Finally, in 2009, when they now started, come and see explosion. There is a right timing for everything when you are in love with God. God is a God of time and season. When it is the right time, everything will fall in place. Hear me? You can't be in love with God and miss your time. You can't. And you know, when you are not in love with God, you have entered the trap of trial and error. And you know, that's the quickest way for Satan to destroy you. Satan will set trap for you. You just fall into a boa. Boa. The best thing that can happen to you Walking in love keeps your heart in a healthy condition. Your spirit man is healthy. Your mind is healthy. Your body is healthy. If your mind is not healthy, you will come to church offended. You will be offended in pastor. You will be offended in Arupi. You will be offended in associate pastor. You'll be offended in youth pastor. You'll be offended in all the associate pastor. You'll be offended in deacons and deaconess. You'll be offended in members. He said, turn to your neighbor. I said, the Lord shall bless you. Don't touch my hand. They say, oh, somebody... Tell him that you love him. When you not turn, it's someone that you hate. <laughs> Hallelujah. The person is not healthy. I'm telling you, the person is not healthy. You can't be healthy and be in church and evil is occupying your mind now. You cannot. If Satan has planted an evil in your heart and you are in church, you are representing Satan. In fact, you are in the club of witchcraft. The only difference is that you have not started flying. It will start soon. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? And hear this. If you don't have a healthy mind, you are incapacitated here on earth. For you to succeed here, say with me, here, yeah. you need your mind. Your mind is the engine room of your life. If your mind is sick, your total destiny is sick. Total destiny is sick. Even God himself said, I the Lord will do nothing without your mind. How much more you are carrying a debased mind, a weak mind, a battered mind, a depressed mind. Thank God what is flowing in your mind is not in my own. You are the one suffering what you are thinking. I'm not the one suffering. Thank God there is no mind grafting. Doctor. Doctor. 
please. Scripture says, guard your heart. With what? For out of it are the issues of life. Out of the, out of the, guard your heart. For out of it are the issues of life. Life already has too many issues. Don't go and add extra issue. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? You need to walk. If you like agree or if you like don't agree, I'll, now you get your mind. I cannot, I can never uh, come into your mind and know what you are thinking except the Holy Ghost reveal to me. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Except the Holy Ghost reveal to me. You need this mind for things to work. And you are the one that will condition it. Philippians chapter 4. Let's take it from verse 6. Philippians 4 verse 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Verse 7. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind. Through what? Now look at verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, please underline it if you have Bible. If you are with your phone, use marker. <laughs> if you are with your phone, just use marker. Whatsoever things are true, Whatsoever things are honest. Whatsoever things are just. Whatsoever things are pure. Whatsoever things are lovely. Whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue, if, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Syllabus. That's the syllabus of thinking. If you move out of this junk, if you move out of this virus, I hope you know there is mental virus. A mental virus can only be cured by the blood of Jesus. If you step out of this boundary, you carry mental virus. You carry mental disease. You know your mind can suffer disease. Why? Because you have crossed from the boundary. It's just like someone, they say, hey, this is the syllabus for this course. They say, no, I have to read wide. <laughs> you will fail wide. <laughs> Are you hearing what I'm saying? <laughs> Life has syllabus. And people that follow it, they are the ones that pass. That's why in scripture they say, do this, don't do this. They are showing us the syllabus. We are to thread and we are not to thread. The implication of following this is to condition your mind to assess what lovers assess. Every true lover of God assess secrets. That brings us to this fact. It is impossible to break through in life without partnering with God. Every child of God has what we call a heritage of divine breakthrough. Every one of you seated here now, you have a heritage of divine breakthrough. Even scripture establishes it, Proverbs 4 verse 18, the path of the jaws. Studio put that scripture. But the part of the jaws is as a shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. Unto the perfect day. You have a heritage of breakthrough even in your business by redemption. So partnership with God guarantees you any level, any dimension of breakthrough you desire.
Our partnership with God gives us access to what we call 3D. Say with me, 3D. In physics, they talk of 3D. In TV, now we have 3D. We even have 4D. Am I correct? Your partnership with God gives you access to your divine helpers. It also gives you access to angelic helpers. You can't have this three-dimensional partnership and not be breaking through in sequence. Every year is a plus on the previous. By so doing, you are securing a partner whom nothing is impossible with. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. Your love for God opens you up for his partnership, even in business. Let's connect it to that brother's testimony. We are taking it to the 4D now. We have looked at the 3D. We are looking at the 4D now. That brother said, when he made up his mind to be giving transport offering of 130000 every month, God gave his business a push. Say with me, a push. And he connected to his 4D. Say with me, 4D. His prophet. He said, you are blessed. That word, you are blessed, is like a divine perfume. If it is coming from your God or them prophet, it will unlock the business both in the realm of the spirit and in the physical. Believe the Lord thy God and thou shalt be established. Believe also his prophet, so shall thou prosper. Anyone prospering in business, breaking through when men are saying there is a casting down, go and check their 4D. They are partnering with God. They have the right kind of helpers. They can't miss angelic helpers. And they have prophetic helpers. You can't have this 4D and your business is struggling. No. Nothing can be impossible for you. Darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But for you, for thou shall arise. For the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen on thee. He said, behold, darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. When you partner with God, struggle dies. You can't partner with God and your business is crawling. And your business is struggling to survive. Struggle to go forward is a lie. If God be for us, who can be against us? If God be for me, say to your neighbor, if God be for me, nobody can be against me. If you are against me, say, say it. God will be against you. It's in the Bible. I will be an enemy to your enemy and an adversary to your adversary. I don't have any problem you being my enemy. It's a confirmation that you will soon crash. I don't have any problem with that. You are only establishing your crashing. I will be an enemy to your enemy and an adversary to your adversary. He said, I will bless them that bless you. He said, them that causes you, I will cause. There's no problem when you, it's your choice to be my friend 
or to be my enemy. Anyone you choose work for you. Even in business, hear me? God can be your partner. And men are ganging up to see how the business will fail. Do you know why the business will not fail? God knows if they pay tight. Your tight is a confirmation that his partnership is guaranteed. Come and fight me. Look for strong people in church that will join you. You will not only collapse, your house will collapse. That's why when you partner with God, anyone fighting you or looking for how your business will scatter, watch out how they will scatter. Take cancer together and be broken in pieces. That's their portion. When you partner with God, from 1,000, you enter 10,000. From 10,000, you enter 100,000. From 100,000, you enter 1 million. From 1 million, you enter 10 million. From 10 million, you enter 100 million. Hear me? I beg you, partner with God. And end your struggle for life. Partner with God. And end this suffering for your family. Business is not working. Check your 4D. Are you partnering with God in soul winning, in the advancement of the church? When you partner with God, one thing you will enjoy help from man must appear. You must not lack helpers. Scripture say, day by day. Say with me, day by day. God sent men to help David until he became a mighty host. Day by day. Day by day. So when your helpers begin to reduce, check it, you are in trouble. Check it, you are in trouble. Check it, you are in trouble. Because anyone that is going forward, God is sending help for them. He's sending helpers. This ministry wouldn't have reached where it is now if the right kind of helpers didn't appear. Am I saying the truth? There are timely helpers. Ordained of God to help you arrive at where you need to be part time. There are timely helpers ordained of God to help you break through with what you are confronted with now. Scripture says God is our refuge. A very present help in time of trouble. So when your business is in trouble, there is a timely helper. Timely helper. I want to let you know today you will get help from God. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. When you partner with God, economic policy cannot suffer the business. No way. That is why scripture says, when men are saying, there is a casting down. Thou shall say, there is a lifting up. There is a lifting up. Economic policy, because your business is not ruled by the policy of any government. You are just flourishing by the power of the supernatural. When God partners with you, he sends the right kind of helpers for you. The right kind of helpers. The right kind of helpers. One thing that is making people succeed, check it, the kind of helpers that are appearing for them. You are not permitted to be stranded. Before one helper finishes his assignment, another one is appearing. Before that one is finishing, another one is appearing. Why? God is keeping you in progress. Timely helpers. Angelic helpers. When God sends angelic helpers to you, you begin to assess information others can't get. 
you begin to know what others can't know. You've been wondering, where have you been since? I would have gone far. That was the time that the helper need to appear for you. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? And lastly, if your business must not suffer slow motion, you need what we call prophetic helpers. Look at that brother's testimony. He went to Papa. Speak a word. The Lord bless you. That word bless you is a divine perfume. It unlocked his destiny. What he has never handled before, he began to handle it. Believe the Lord thy God and that shall be established. Believe also his prophet, so shall that prosper. Hear this? It is your choice to believe. It's nobody's choice. It's your choice. Who you choose to believe, you believe. Who you choose to doubt, you doubt. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Who you choose to believe, you believe. I've never seen where a prophet or a pastor will force himself or members to believe them. It's a lie. The spirit reveals to them. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It reveals to them. And by so doing, when they connect and believe, things began to work. If this must work for you, you need prophetic connection. I just remember something now. When God told Papa, our Papa, Bishop David Oedeko, get down and meet my servant, Bensini Dahosa. Because of all the jargon and evil they have painted in Dahosa, he said, God, I'm not going. All the evil they have spoken, I'm not going. And God replied, do you know him more than me? Do you know him more than me? Are you judging him by what they told you or what I am telling you? It's normal. Even me, you can paint me black. But you are not the one that determined my oil. Anybody can paint me black. It is his choice. It is your choice to believe who is painting. It's your choice to believe who ordained. So finally, the Holy Ghost told him, if you don't go, it's your choice. So he finally got the number and called. I'm on my way to see you. And I bishop replied, God told me you are coming. Hear this? Some of the people, they are painting evil against you now. Maybe, maybe not. Your life or your breakthrough is connected to them. If you have said no, there wouldn't have been a transfer of that prophetic grace. Let me tell you one of the things that was released upon Papa. The gift of on time. Say, neither here, my son. Others, when they come, they come to collect. But when you, you come, you come to bless. I release upon you the gift of on time. Before any need arise, the supply will be on ground. It is still working till today. Why? That was his God sent helper. I may not be your God sent helper, but I am sent to someone. I know. I may not be your God sent helper. We can never quarrel with that. But the people I am sent to, before my assignment will be over here, you will see them stand out. Yeah. It's a very simple thing. There is no need to quarrel. I believe you, I don't believe you. It's your choice. Even Papa too, there are people that don't believe in him. Does, does, he, does he stop what is flowing? No! People that believe it, the thing is working for them. Simple. One young man who had heard of that testimony before, he was to go for an appointment. There are so many big names. He met at the way he prayed. 
he got the job. The person at number one resigned. He went again and prayed that there's a vacant seat for so and so, so position. He prayed again. He said, Go, the Lord will give it to you. The Lord gave it to him. He came again. He said, You should pray again. He now asked him, Do you want to collect the company? Do you want to collect the company? <laughs> <laughs> they, he prayed again they now made him not only the country director and manager but he was overseeing Africa hear me true true your prophet determines your profit your prophet determines your profit your prophet determines your profit. I personally have identified them whose grace walk on this head. Their signs, their utterance, their speakings have moved me to where I am now. And I'm still moving. I'm still growing. I'm still enlarging. Why? They are still speaking. When they speak, it sticks. Your business cannot suffer what other business suffers. If your prophet is speaking to your head, to your life, to your business. They, they don't only impart upon you the blessing of favor, they impart upon you the blessing of creativity. They don't only impart upon you the blessing of creativity, they impart upon you the takeover anointing. You become a territorial taker. Your course is getting enlarged and enlarged. There's something unique about the blessing. Every time it comes upon you, it enlarges your dominion. Your business now begins to go from strength to strength. Shops that are closing, you begin to buy them up. Why? There is a force following you called the blessing. The blessing. If you must continue to see business breakthrough, don't play with your 4D, your partnership with God. That is your foundation. Number two, you must not miss your timely helpers. You must not drive away your angels. And number four, you must not miss your prophetic connection. Your prophetic connection is what determines your business collection. Anything your business is assessing now, it came by a prophetic flow. It came by a prophetic flow. It came by a prophetic flow. Now let's read the book of Ezra, chapter 4, verse 20 what? 29. The last verse, the last verse of Ezra, chapter 4. Then we'll now read Ezra, chapter 5, verse 1 and 2. Let's take chapter 4. Then sees the walk of the house of God, which is at Jerusalem, so it ceased unto the second year of the reign of Darius, king of Persia. Now look at the next verse, the next chapter. Then the prophets, how many? How many? Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo prophesied unto the Jews that were in Judah and Jerusalem in the name of the God of Israel, even unto them. Verse 2 now. Then rose up Zerubbabel, the son of Shiltia, and Joshua, the son of Josadek, and began to build the house of God, which is at Jerusalem, and with them were the prophets of God helping them. What did you see there? <laughs> helping them. The work ceased, but the prophets helped them by prophesying. Let me tell you something about prophetic blessing. And we rise up to pray. 
How many years has Oyedepo fasted? How many years? At least he has been in ministry for close to 40 years. Am I correct? Have you done his level of fasting? There are some people here, if you tell them do six to six, they will faint. Am I saying the truth? How much more don't eat, drink only water throughout the day? They will just die. But he has fasted, securing what we call supernatural power. And they imparted on you and blessed you. What will happen? Every devil hanging around your life will fade away. That, that's a tip of what prophetic blessings look like. How many years have Abiyoye fasted? How many years have uh, Bishop Aremu fasted? How many years have Paul Enenche fasted? How many years have Ibiyomi fasted? That goes to let you know prophets blessing them. I know what I'm talking about when I tell you about prophetic blessing. It's a major driver. Say with me, driver. It drives your life. Drives your business. Beyond natural frequency. You can't get it and suffer slow motion. No matter how tight the economy is, things must flow for you. I tell you the truth. Let your passion for God and your partnership with God be intact. You connect your divine helpers, angelic helpers, and you go seek after prophetic blessings and things will work. I want to assure you, before this year will be over, you will recover your lost grounds. Yeah. If you are saying amen, you say better amen. Yeah. You will recover your lost grounds. Yeah. No one business represented in this church will suffer slow motion. Yeah. Rise up to your feet right now. We are going to pray one prayer. There are seasonal helpers. There are helpers that must appear in seasons and in times. You are going to pray one prayer. Scripture says, And a wind went forth from the Lord and brought in quails. You are going to pray all ye four winds of the spirit blow compel my helpers to locate me when your helper appear struggle dies when your helper appear what you have been struggling to achieve in one year the appearance will give your life a lift you couldn't achieve it for 10 years 15 years you are now achieving it in less than one year. You are going to pray, all ye four winds of the Spirit, wherever my helper is, north, south, east, west, blow them. Let them look at me. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Every helper, assign for my rising, for my glory. Four winds of the spirit. Blow! Compel my timely helpers. My seasonal helpers. My divine helpers. For my business flourishing to appear. Four winds of the spirit blow north, south, east, west. Blow, compel my helpers to appear. Compel my helpers to appear north, south, east, west. Compel my helpers to appear. Let them come forth. Oh, you four winds of the spirit. Leandegere Shata, 
Lizoteko Peliareta Licanedo Secotelate Blow in my timely help us. My timely help us. My season help us. My divine help us. Libarus and Atela Bia Ezokoto Preda Liota Redaniko Setopeli Adela. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ, put your right hand on your forehead. I pray for every one of you, whatever want to limit you. Whatever want to stagnate you, I break the barrier in the name of Jesus. Where you are is good, but there is a place called better. By prophetic help, enter your better place. By prophetic help, enter your best place. Whatever look like a spiritual embargo over your business. I command them to catch fire in the name of Jesus. What others can't get by prophetic favor, I command the blessings released to you now. Others may be saying there is a casting down. I speak forth for you by the four winds of the Spirit. Let quails of blessing enter your hand. Let Christ of blessing load, your, load into your business. Your business may be small now. I engage the hand of God to move your business to the next level. I pray for you now. I engage the eight grace that have rested on this head. I decree your business will not suffer slow motion. Your business will not suffer a setback. Your business is not permitted to go down. Amen. Say louder, amen. amen. Whatever has kept you from getting to the top, I decree, let that evil force crash in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you are saying amen, say better, amen. amen. All eyes closed. I pray for you now. You are here, you are not born again. You want to make it right with Jesus. The blessings have gone forth. But before he sticks, Jesus has to be Lord and Savior of your life. Wherever you are right now, put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord and be my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. If you pray that prayer with me, come right now. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. Make that very quick. We are closing right now. If you are coming quickly, God bless you.